As you can see here, computing has come a long way in the last 50 years, from calculators and word processors to handheld devices with the world of information at your fingertips. The digital revolution shows no sign of slowing, and it all started with the invention of the microchip. In March 1971, the first commercially produced microprocessor was released, marking the birth of the modern digital age. The single-chip Intel 4004 revolutionised computing by rapidly churning through calculations in a metal oxide semiconductor. That allowed all parts that make a computer think to be placed on one small chip, compared with early computers that were the size of a room. It was designed for a desktop calculator and was sold for other uses later that year. The new microprocessor could be programmed for uses in a variety of products, opening up a world of possibility to engineers and designers. During the 1970s, faster processing technology became widely available, and the technology of the future, the computer, became ubiquitous in the workplace and underwent constant rapid development. Tech also transformed our leisure time, with the first game consoles released. It wasn't long before the laptop computer was born, the first mobile phones launched, and the first digital camera released that could store up to 10 photos. The shrinking of digital devices was crucial to the rapid advances in computer programming that led to the dawn of the information age. The world was now at our fingertips via internet-connected smartphones. I feel like it's really important to always be connected, so I like that you can like sync it up with your laptop. When you put uh, the iPod and a telephone together, eh, so you can, can ring and, and you can listen to music and everything, that's, that's, that's great. And that led to social media, connecting people far and wide and changing how we interact with others forever. It wasn't just personal gadgets that changed with advances in microchips. The humble home printer was eventually transformed into the 3D printer, changing manufacturing processes across the world. As the technology became more complex, it also became more widely used by consumers who needed a simpler way to use their devices. As this exhibition at the Powerhouse Museum in Sydney demonstrates, tech designers made their machines both appealing and easy to use. The way we used to interact with tools of this kind before the microprocessor was uh, mechanical and electromechanical, so we had to operate switches and dials. Now we have things like screens where we've got gesture control. So where to now for our digital devices? Well, it's the mind-bending science of quantum computing that's likely to dominate the next 50 years of development. Health, energy, climate change, those types of problems require enormous computing power. And once again, it's the microchip that holds the key. Quantum computers run at minus 273 degrees and transfer data via a control chip kept at room temperature. Scientists are close to solving the puzzle of connecting the two without transferring heat. When they do, it will mean a quantum leap for the digital world.